the Barbados-born mystic Neville Goddard, who lived and worked in America for 50 years until his death in 1972, is one of the most extraordinary and unusual religious intellects of modern life. I will never forget the first time I heard his name. In the summer of 2003, I was interviewing Major League pitcher Barry Zito, who was then playing for the Oakland A's. Barry's father, Joe, taught him about Neville's work, and the Cy Young Award winner used Neville's ideas of mental creativity as part of his training regimen. Neville teaches that all reality is self-created, that your mind is God the Creator. This formed a vital part of Barry's system of self-development at the time. Midway through our conversation, he stopped and said, The Barbados-born mystic Neville Goddard, who lived and worked in America for 50 years until his death in 1972, is one of the most extraordinary and unusual religious intellects of modern life. I will never forget the first time I heard his name. In the summer of 2003, I was interviewing Major League pitcher Barry Zito, who was then playing for the Oakland A's. Barry's father, Joe, taught him about Neville's work, and the Cy Young Award winner used Neville's ideas of mental creativity as part of his training regimen. Neville teaches that all reality is self-created, that your mind is God the Creator. This formed a vital part of Barry's system of self-development at the time. Midway through our conversation, he stopped and said, You must really be into Neville. The mystic wrote and spoke under his first name. I had never heard it. Barry was incredulous. After our talk, I got a copy of Neville's 1966 book, Resurrection. I was enthralled with its ideas and hooked ever after. I am often drawn to a teaching based on my perception of the teacher's character and personage. Something about Neville's persona gripped me, even before I had heard his clipped Anglican accent or seen his Romanesque image. Neville, to me, conveyed a kind of seriousness intermixed with the most radical proposition I had ever heard. Your imagination is God. Everything that you experience, including the words you are now hearing, emerges from your own creative thoughts, of which the Jehovah of the Old and New Testaments is a symbolic pictogram. Everything is ultimately rooted in you, Neville taught, as you are rooted in God. This is the esoteric meaning behind Scripture, culminating in the crucifixion and resurrection of Christ and his self-realization of his own divinity. In Neville's telling, the events of Scripture are not historical, but are a mystical drama destined to play out in the life of every individual. Every man is destined to discover that Scripture is his autobiography, Neville said in 1967. You are God. It is the kind of statement with which one immediately wants to argue. We can all recall.